Hey, welcome to another week here at the Tolerant. We are trying to finish the plumbing this week. Um, we got the last few pieces, the shower head, well, or at least where the shower head connects in the wall. We got those um, fittings. I'm actually on vac uh, vacation this week, so I have to check on Monday morning if the ice maker box also came. If that came, then we can completely finish it. Otherwise, um, we still have a few little pieces done, but in general, plumbing will be done after this week. Um, I also want to get um, a hose pipe on the outside of the house connected so that we can, when we need to make concrete or mortar or cement, we actually have um, some running water on the outside of the building where we're mixing it anyways, and then we can use the uh, material inside. All right, hey everyone. Manuel and I are down here in our basement and we're working today to connect our water um, to the house. So, enjoy. If you're wondering why we installed this connection here so low at chest height, um, we actually put it right at that height because we actually have a handheld device here in the shower and it will have a bar where you can slide it up to a different height and we will probably install it on this side of the wall. So we just wanted to put it out of the way so it doesn't stick too much into the room while you are actually using uh, the shower itself. So. There will be a bar up here where it actually connects with a hose and then you can adjust it from what height you want it to shower on top of you. So before I get this installed that we just fed, um, I want to obviously run a one inch vertical supply line right here. And what I want to do is I want to put a valve right here beforehand. So I'm going to tee off from the big supply line that is coming up here. And then I'm going to have a valve. Then I have my three quarter inch takeout. And then we're going to cap the one inch line further down here. The reason why I'm going to cap it and put it um, as a separate line here is so that in case I ever want to do another outdoor unit, something I have already my outdoor separated, it's going to be able to shut off that entire branch and not have to worry about it later. Because otherwise, if I just connect this um, to the main line up here and just come down with the three quarter inch pipe, then I would have to turn off the main water line outside every single time I am working on one of those valves. So having just a little shut off somewhere in for each branch is um, a nice thing to have. But for that, I need to get more pieces tomorrow. I need to get another um, one inch T and then a cap and also a ball valve. And so I know they're all in stock, but I just need to pick them up and the supply store is not open on Sundays. So I will do that tomorrow morning, but since I'm on vacation tomorrow, it probably will be part of this video. Mm -hmm. 
One of the items that we have to get done this week is I want to run a couple more or actually four uh, more boxes up here in the attic and then I want to run a few lines down into the basement for our CAT 6 so that we can say that is completed too. I want to really this week um, emphasize some of the small projects that we still have left. Um, I want to get them done, some on vacation. We will take a few days of vacation of actually going somewhere to the beach but uh, the other days I will be working here and I want to get all the small projects that just have been accumulating here. Um, I want to get them done. So let's see if we can get the CAT6 at least done today. So we got sprayed a little bit, that was still a lot of pressure even though we turned off the water. We should have probably ran um, the water upstairs a little bit before I just cut into the pipe. But So we got sprayed, but it was very nice and refreshing. So it's a nice thing to have water, but I guess uh, I should take uh, caution before I cut a random pipe. So we got everything tested, there's no leaks, so now what I want to do is I want to also add a little valve just right here so that I can turn off separately besides obviously the whole stack of all outdoor units. I want to also be able to uh, turn off one unit at a time, um, especially when um, freezing starts happening. That way I can just turn it off, empty the whole line and I won't have any freezing issues on the outside. Well, this is it for this week. I'm all the way soaked, um, so I need to dry up and we'll probably get a little bit of work done tomorrow. We'll see. It is vacation week, but we try to schedule this vacation a little bit more relaxing. So I'm not here all day, every day. I'm just here a little bit, trying for a few hours every day, trying to get a few little wrapping up some little things. And maybe I'll have some guys come tomorrow to help me dig the trench. And if that gets done, that would be great. Um, otherwise, uh, I guess you can just wait until next week. Well, have a wonderful week. I'll see you guys the next time I turn on the camera. Bye.